The brother asked the question that I live in a predominantly Hindu society. Does it affect my work? Yes, it does. It helps me to strive harder, mashallah. It does affect. The place where I come from, Bombay, it is supposed to be one of the most difficult places where you can do dawa. The Bombay city, if anyone knows, one of the most difficult places where a person can do dawa. The organization, the political organization that are there, they are so much against the Muslims. But Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number three, verse number 160, if Allah helps you, then none can overcome you. If Allah forsakes you, who is there then who can help you? So let the believers put their trust in Allah. So if Allah's help is there, it's very easy. Believe me, in Bombay, while doing dawah, even the life is in danger. That's what I'm aware of it. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. Bombay is the most difficult place where you can do dawah. It's very difficult. Yet, in spite of living in such a situation, with Allah's help, it is very easy. Imagine I give talks from the past eight years on the cable TV network. We come on more than one million homes every day. Every day. And in that, we do hardcore dawah. Quoting the Vedas, quoting Bhagavad Gita, quoting the Upanishad, Mahabharat, talking about the scriptures. And Alhamdulillah, when we give talks, Hindus also come in large numbers. And we train our people, mashallah. And the students that we have and my colleagues, even they, mashallah, can quote Quran, Hadith, Bible, Veda, Raman, even our children in school, mashallah. If you see the young children in school, in the fifth standard, sixth standard, they can rattle off chapter number, verse number, mashallah. They're trained. Brother, normally you should realize we should follow the rules and the regulation of question answer session. It is not a discussion you are having between me and you. Fine? You are an elderly person. We wanted to get the mic to you. Only they to pocha ne pakarna The thing is there that if someone gives a finger, you should not catch that. There are rules and regulations are there. There are at least 15 people standing in the queue there. And one question, you could have asked all the three questions together. While giving a talk, if you interrupt in between, this goes against the rules and regulations. And a Muslim is supposed to follow the rules and regulations if you are a Muslim. So you should ask together. Yes, you should ask together. Otherwise, you should ask one question, go behind the queue, and then ask. So you should wait for 15 people to finish, and then you can ask. Otherwise, it becomes a dialogue. Not that I cannot answer. Not that I cannot answer. Regarding your last part, because the elderly person I'm answering, were we able to convert anyone? We don't convert anyone. Allah gives hidaya. We cannot convert anyone. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Kishya, chapter number 88, verse number 21, manta Our job is to deliver the message. It's Allah who gives hidayah. And Alhamdulillah, Allah has given hidayah to thousands of non-Muslims, mashallah, to the IRF. We have been made the zariah. And if you see, and if you see our videotapes, mashallah, I've given the talk on similarities between Hinduism and Islam. And mashallah, when we have in Bombay, we only allow non-Muslims to ask questions. Nowadays, Muslims only listen. Because Muslims are our people, they're not our guests, the non-Muslims are our guests. So mashallah, there's so many non-Muslims queuing up that even though we give two to three hours for question and session, we can't complete all the questions. And mashallah, many of them accept Islam on stage. And I was just there yesterday in Birmingham. There was a Muslim who told me that there's a Hindu in Leicester who's so much impressed with the talk that he wants me to come to Leicester. He wants to call all the Hindus of that area. He will finance everything. He wants to keep my talk, similarities between Hinduism and Islam. And inshallah, Allah may give him that also very shortly. So the thing is that we have to convey the message, Allah gives hidayah, but we should not be afraid. We should be on lines of Quran and Sunnah and deliver a message. Hope that answers the question.